Wait, do I even have to uh, deal with those dudes? Who is inside here? Okay, Acid Melter, pretty easy, go to sleepity steep. So let's try to loot this locker and let's see what kind of things we're gonna get here inside. And inside just a hazmat suit, a uh, one thingy, and an anti rad pill. Awesome. Hey, yo, guys, it is me, Happy Syracan. Welcome back to Last Standard Survival. So right now we're gonna be going inside of this junkyard event. Hopefully this time I am not gonna die horribly like last time because my character here, my man, okay, this is exactly the same event. That's exactly what I was talking about. So. Last time when I tried to do this event, my man here with this uh, ore paddle died. So hopefully this time it's not going to happen. So I took here a spread shot. I have here my Glock. Okay, so we're going to definitely take here with a spread shot. Let's go like that. Probably, I mean, with shotgun, maybe it will be a bit better. All I have to do now is probably take my Uzi instead of another Glock. Okay, so this guy is going to go over there. Okay, so I'm going to take out my Uzi here to deal with them a bit quicker. Uh, Savage Giant. All I have to do is not let the guard down from my man because he's gonna get shredded uh, by a lot of and a lot of other zombies when he just gets over here and i totally do not want him to die okay so let's try to do like that okay so my shotgun i gotta heal up please tell me that he's not gonna die because this event is kind of bs you know last time he just died because i wasn't here so whatever task completed did i complete some sort of task for from the season pass or did i unlock this chest over here well whatever okay so let's try to follow this guy obviously somebody else is just going to attack him here okay let's deal with these things okay i still have a shotgun but it's gonna my guy just died once again this is bs like this event is so bad this event is horrible like don't get me wrong like oh my god sorry i can do it with closed eyes very nice that you can do it with closed eyes but what am i supposed to do i used here a spread shot am i supposed to use scars here for this event like what this is garbage like don't get me wrong this is a garbage event like i was so close to doing it and he just died. What's like? There's a secret strategy. There's a secret button. I don't care. Garbage event. That's it. I'm getting out of here. Once again. What? I've done this event like probably once or twice and this guy did not die. But right now, what am I supposed to do? I cannot do it with simple glocks. Like, they're, they gotta be kidding us right now. They made this bunker bravo where we have to use only fully modded AKs and scars. And now they want us to use these guns in other events. Like, are there any other events where glocks now are viable? So here we go. I sorted out my inventory. We're gonna go once again to a very very special place yes indeed we're gonna go back to bunker bravo and today i've assembled there a special terminal we have opening locks thingy but we're gonna talk about that a bit more because i've just found out that now in sector seven you get worse rewards so seven players who get to be at the top or something they have worse rewards i think in the past you were able to get like five sets of kevlar armor but right now you get only half of kevlar armor or maybe even before you could get only half but it was at least five of them and plus you could get five vsss like i'm hundred percent sure that you could get five vsss in the past but they nerfed the rewards here so you don't get as many rewards as in the past i believe you were able to get five tactical backpacks now we here get only one so i mean again i'm not judging this stuff i don't know if it's good or bad i mean <laughs> what i'm not i'm obviously not gonna say that it's amazing that those players who spend like week entire week literally grinding most likely like six hours every day just to be at the top their rewards got nerfed like by 50 percent or something because like those from five vsss they drop to only one VSS. Well, we're here at Bunker Bravo and I'm not here to judge about what developer has done, why they nerfed the rewards here. I really don't, I cannot find a proper reason why would they nerf it to reduce the competition or maybe rewards were too high. I have no idea. Even though when those rewards came out, I thought that they were too low. I thought that they will buff them, but hey, they just nerfed them. So I have no idea what's going on. What are your thoughts about that? But as I said, we've assembled here the terminal. I've recycled a couple of batteries and the trick to recycling those batteries is to not put put 20 batteries at the same time inside of that recycler because then you don't get more stuff so i've gotten some comments from people saying that you should recycle only one by one battery you recycle it then you have a higher chance of getting more lead plates so that's how i was able to get 20 lead plates i'm not sure if i was just super lucky or whatever but i recycled a stack of batteries and i was able to get 20 lead so that means that right now we don't have to do bunker bravo as much as possible okay so let's just hop inside of the second floor i'll try to grind over there so, uh, yeah, we're going to activate right now that terminal. I just have to focus on what other things that we have to do. I want to disassemble. I want to deactivate the turrets, but do it like turrets. I think we're going to deactivate the turrets and I will activate here opening locks. So I'm still going to have the patrol cancel and other stuff. Hopefully that will work out. I have no idea. Well, let's just start going. Okay, so let's deal here with the stromper. Going to lower the volume because for me it was just super loud. Okay, stromper, go to sleepity sleep. Let's deal now here with my man exploder. And again, some people 
people still keep asking Psyche, why don't you just kill exploders fully while you let them explode? And as I said, you cannot kill them fully as... Okay, so this is gonna be the Toxic Spewer, right? Okay, so we gotta deal with the Toxic Spewer, man. A Toxic Spewer is just gonna go to sleep. Gotta keep my health up high. Let's now deal with the one exploder. Uh, bada boom. Now we're gonna go over there. Okay, so these... Dudes, though. Oh my goodness. Okay, so yeah, yeah, everything is gonna be fine. Everything is calculated, guys. Look at that. Measure the distance. Everything is fine. I didn't measure anything. It's just pure luck. I mean, not really completely, completely luck, but I mean, yeah, a little bit of luck. Let's deal now with this toxic spewer. Two of these toxic spewers. I mean, st acid spewer. Yeah, acid, acid melter. Yeah, they melted my armor a little bit here. What's about my armor? It's fine. So far, it's okay. It's not fine at all. Let's deal now with one more stromper here. Acid melter is just gonna destroy my armor, of course. Oh no, everything is fine so far. Let's heal up. Let's take here now another M16. And, uh, okay, so acid melter, obvious. Okay, two acid melters. I have to use here my AK on them. One to sleep, another one to sleep as well. Very beautiful, very beautiful. Let's deal here with this exploder. I think we can explode from exploder and I'll still survive because he's not gonna do too much damage, but I don't like still getting that uh, damage from him. Okay, let's deal with that. And I believe that this is going to be a first lock where I'll have to unlock it. Wait, do I even have to uh, deal with those dudes? Who is inside here? Okay, acid melter, pretty easy. Go to sleep, pretty steep. So let's try to loot this locker and let's see what kind of things we're gonna get here inside and inside just a hazmat suit uh, one thingy and an anti-rad pill awesome so i did not that's it i think this is entire locker that you get from this floor so it's definitely kind of valuable to assemble that locker but again you might need a lot of batteries i think that i was just super super lucky from what i've heard and from what i've seen other people if they recycle like entire stack of batteries they get like zero lead but i've seen some people recycling one by one and they get more so i'm just not sure if i was super lucky or Whatever happened, okay, let's deal with that. Acid Melter is just gonna go to sleep. So I'll try to use just more scars. Uh, bada boom. And Explosive Zombie is just gonna explode right now. Yeah, that's very nice. And Stromper, we're gonna deal with him here with my M16. So hopefully... I am not gonna die. I, for the first time right now, I'll have to clear this room when there is a lot of those uh, riot zombies or whatever, because it, right now the patrol cancel lock is not activated, so there will be more zombies, so hopefully I'll still have enough time to deal with that other zombie, but I do believe that it was worth it, at least on the second, on the second floor, we are getting one more extra of... Uh, carbon. Okay, so this dude is gonna put the shield. I still have enough stuff. I've gotten just one extra anti-rad pill. So plus we're gonna get two extra anti-rad pills from other floors. So I think we do. I can definitely use up those anti-rad pills and not worry about the time here to save up those anti-rad pills. Well, we got the point. Let's go now a little bit to the top. Now let's deal here with our screamer. Now we're gonna deal here with the juggernaut. I definitely have to go now and bring another AK. Okay, so this is gonna be a fetid corpse, right? I think we're gonna deal with my scar here with fetid corpse just so that it's a bit, a bit faster like that. That dude like that. Let's take here now another scar. I'm definitely using here way more uh, high durability weapons, like stronger weapons. But at the same time, I have to do Bunker Bravo only like four extra times now with this opening lock. And uh, I should be able to survive. Okay, let's deal now with Exploder. Exploder is just going to explode. Let's now deal with Toxic Spewer with two Parasiters. Awesome. That scar definitely helps out a lot. Let's take this. Let's take an AK. Uh, we're gonna go to the top. Gonna try to deal with another exploder. Gonna stay over there. Okay, let's deal with that. So even though you're activating here, uh, like that lock terminal here, you know, so that means you cannot uh, activate uh, two good terminals, like let's say those turrets and patrol cancel or something, but you're getting one free anti-red pill. So you're getting like extra one or two minutes to your bunker Bravo. So it's basically the same. Let's open that up. Yeah, I think we're gonna take a scar, then we're gonna take that. Do I have auto skill? Yes, I have an auto skill here. So we're gonna now deal with acid spewer here, boom. We're now gonna deal with this guy like that. And uh, yeah, so I'll go a little bit to the top. Gonna heal up, gonna add more of those. And uh, that's it, yeah. I'm just I'm just gonna deal with this guy right now. I'm gonna release the turkeys, baby. Go out, go out. Now I'm gonna click on auto skill and we're gonna deal with this liquidator. And second floor basically is just going to be done. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, take another thing over there. Uh, going to look at my health. Okay, so he's doing 17 damage, right? Okay, so with SWAT armor, he does 17 damage. You gotta pay attention to my health, just like that. And everything should be pretty much fine, if I'm not mistaken. 
Okay, just like that, he goes over there. Let's hold on auto here. So with auto skill, it's way easier to deal with liquidator because before I did not use the auto skill and it's more confusing to hold that attack button and blah, blah, blah. So hey, have your auto skill when you're fighting here with liquidator. It will be a bit easier and less stressful. So 500 health left. And if you have enough time, not only even if you have enough time, but I suggest you using your shotguns on liquidator because you're gonna collect more shotguns than you have because you cannot use any other weapon here at Bunker Bravo, such as like Glocks or even those shotguns. So at least use up your shotguns here on that liquidator. You'll be able to save up like one good durability AK or something. So we've done with that floor, baby. Let's go to the top. Plus like, as I said, one extra carbon composite and one piece of hazmat armor. So I guess that's cool. Let's go to the first floor and I have to think about what kind of locks I will activate on the second floor. Definitely we're gonna activate that opening lock because you'll be able to get some extra batteries from that floor. Plus we gotten four of those. So I've gotten five carbon composites here, basically pretty good plus those things awesome as i said four extra bravo runs including this one so this one and plus three extra bravo runs and i should be able to assemble my atv so as soon as season three comes out i think i will be able to give you that atv content and i forgot to say it. smash the like button on the video this is it seriously in the middle of the talking i'm gonna talk about the like buttons because why not? Oh wait, when I assemble the opening locks, can I open that up? Okay, so the door is stuck. Still cannot open that thing. Okay, I thought after we assemble the terminal, I'll be able to go there, but that does not work. Okay, so now let's go to the second floor. And I think, I think the toxic dose spitters are gonna be better than the patrol cancel. So I will activate that, uh, whatever thing it is, the vent clearance. And after the vent clearance, I'm gonna activate this thing. Okay, so this is gonna be opening locks and vent clearance. This is what I'm gonna choose for the third floor. Okay, let's hop inside and let's start dealing here with those dudes. Okay, explosive zombie is just gonna go explode. Let's deal here with my acid melter. Very nice. Another explorer is just gonna go bye-bye. So, so far, pretty great start. It definitely could have been worse. They could have been like a, a lot of those acid spitters. Yada, yada. So that's it. Well, I don't have to use this car because I'm not gonna have enough space for my other item. Okay, let's deal now with the toxic daughter with another guy, explosive zombie. Well, pretty easy again, pretty easy combo so far. Beginning is pretty great, could have been way worse, as I said many, many times. Let's take here now my other item here, riot shielded zombie. Now we're gonna deal here with this explosive zombie. Again, amazing combo, No, uh, none of those annoying uh, spitting stuff thing is. Okay, riot shielded zombie still has his shield. I'm gonna take an AK as soon as he deals with that. Plus, I am totally ready to use here one anti-rad pill. Did not use any anti-rad ampules, but whatever. So, uh, also have to be ready to open up that whatever lock. I'm not sure where is it though. Okay, let's deal with it. two acid melters. Gotta use my AK on them because they're gonna just melt my armor down really quickly. So where is that locker thingy? I have no idea. I have to know it because I don't know. I seriously do not know where is that locker to get my items. Okay, let's deal now with this A screamer. One screamer and there's going to be another screamer. So soon he's gonna scream. I don't like it. Let's destroy him here with that stuff let's go further so far pretty great run really great zombies here really lots of and lots of luck because there could have been way more of these riot shielded zombies once again there's an explosive zombie sometimes there might be a riot shielded zombie so i mean luck is on my side today hopefully i am not gonna talk here too much and then i'll die okay another riot shielded zombie and he didn't do anything let's deal with this strumper go to sleepity sleep let's take that and I'm trying to pick my mistake because a lot of you were offended when I said Stormtrooper. Like, I have to say Strumper as we said the first time. <laughs> I'm so sorry for making those mistakes. I'll promise I'll try to do my best to call them Strumpers. Okay, so this is going to be Streamer. You know what? I think we're just going to... Streamer! Let's deal... Uh, this is not going to be Screamer, but Streamer. Let's deal with the Screamer, the Streamer, and let's deal with the Slasher. Let's do like that. Let's take now another VSS. Oh, hopefully, all those guns... Uh, are gonna last me long enough. Let's heal up just to save up some stuff. Let's go further. And where is that opening locks thing? Okay, one screamer. Good evening, slasher. Uh, good evening. Dude, are you kidding me? Why? Why did I just slow down? So, for some reason, that's it. If you're standing here, you're not gonna be able to go down. Like, that's weird. That's super weird. Okay, let's deal now with a toxic darter uh, like that. And this is going to be my stromper. Stromper is gonna go baba as well. We're gonna go change up my set. I think that should be enough, but eh, let's go like that. Uh, a little bit further. Uh, toxic daughter is gonna go to sleep. I shouldn't be using like these uh, combos like that. Let's take a scar. Explosive zombie. Okay, so we're gonna use acid melter. That's what I thought. Did it? Did? Well, no, dead, dead. 
survived somehow have no idea how I survived I survived I survived dude I have no idea how seriously that was just pure 100% luck I don't know how I survived but I did uh, let's get my uh, boots what is that <laughs> let's take it I'm not gonna say no I'm not gonna say no I've got just uh, whatever secret boots I mean not secret boots but those a uh, camouflage whatever they're called okay let's deal with this boom the ghillie boots right yeah, let's get the gilly, gilly, gilly boot. Let's deal with our acid melter. Our stromper is gonna go uh, say bye bye with my AK. Bada boom. Okay, so this is gonna be the patrol cancel, which last time it was always deactivated. Let's deal now with Juggernaut, with the Stormtrooper. There's a lot of and a lot of guns going on in them. So you're basically saving out one gun if you assemble that terminal. But uh, today, not that lucky to do it. Okay, so... Dude, can you please put down the shield? Please put down the shield. I want to do entire third, fourth floor right now. Without any fails. And this right shielded zombie is kind of annoying me. <laughs> Let's go a bit further. Okay, so I do have a scar. Both of them are kind of low on durability. Let's deal now with my toxic daughter. My acid melter is going to go bye-bye. Let's take that. Uh, I mean, I don't have to use my M16. Let's take now my uh, another uh, M16. Yeah, cool. Let's go a bit further. We got to take now this guy. Please come after me. Uh, come, 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 dude. Let's deal with you just like that. I think we're gonna switch up a scar here. I still have three scars up the top. So, so far, I still have enough energy. No need to do anything. Now, let's deal here with this turret. Let's deal now here with this acid melter. Another acid melter. They tried to melt me, but hey, they did not do anything. Okay, so I opened that terminal up. Let's delete this. Let's take that. Let's take my grenade launcher. Let's take more of this. And I think I'm ready, baby. I am ready. I am ready. I am ready. Okay, so now I have to bring him down to 300 health, just as usual. Okay, so 600, uh, 500, got a 300 health, just as always. Now we got to start dealing with this toxic spewer. Oh my goodness, that's it. I, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I might totally get destroyed here. I might totally get destroyed right now. Because I didn't do anything good. Okay, so I gotta go to the top and wait until he will scream once again. Okay, let's deal with this toxic spewer. Please tell me I'll be able to destroy him. Yes, kind of destroyed him, but I'm running low on those things. Okay, let's do one more shot. Now, he's gonna scream any moment here. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's why I went here. Can I go through this side? Oh my good, that's getting a little bit steamy here. Okay, let's take that thing. Let's heal up. Uh, still, so far, everything should be goddamn okay. I died. Ah, shh. Shite. Didn't pay attention to my health, kind of a dummy, my mistake, didn't kill that toxic spitter in the beginning, so it threw me off. Well, definitely mistakes happen and hopefully I will still be able to go and deal with that guy, most likely he's gonna have, again, full health. That's just sad, but again, as I said, mistakes do happen. Let's go to the third floor, I'm gonna chuck down that anti-rad thingy, then we're gonna take some anti-rad ampules. Either I'll have to restart the third floor, which is going to be really, really sad and I totally do not want to do it. Uh, but hey, let's take my tactical backpack. Let's take the rest of the items. Dude, I need to sort out my inventory once again. Let's take like those things. Okay, don't need to do it. Let's take that. Some healing items and I just need to check that garbage down. Let's go. Somehow, some way, inventory sorted out. We're just gonna roll. Nobody's gonna crawl out of nowhere here. So, okay, so already started getting damage. If I will, if I will get like at least to like, I don't know, whatever. I'm still gonna use another pill, obviously. As I said, great thing is that nobody's gonna be crawling out of these vents now. And I believe that taking one anti-red thingy before coming here was a bit useful. I am not sure though, but hey, I'm definitely gonna take a pill most likely before I enter that room. And hopefully I'll be able to deal with him right now. So let's go a bit further. This is a cold room for some reason. Let's go a bit even further. So I got to check out if I have everything. Okay, the pills, the boots, the garbage. Okay, cool. Let's go. Let's keep going, baby. Let's keep going. This is another turret. Let's survive. Let's survive. Let's now here activate the terminal. So I'm definitely going to take a pill. going to consume one of those anti-red thingies if I will have to. Now let's try to deal with him here once again. Up to 300 health baby let's deal with him let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go 300 health once again now we got to deal with this toxic spewer yes this time it worked out gotta take my thingy let's go a little bit to the top i believe we're gonna consume one pill just in case just in case now he's got a scream over here yes that worked that worked let's go like that let's take my grenade launcher one and two. That was definitely a bit greedy. Don't be like me. You don't have to be greedy here. As he could have screamed there and I would have gotten stuck here. Okay, so now I'm gonna go like that. Can do one more circle. If I 
Don't kill him. Okay, I killed him. Awesome, 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 awesome. Everything is fine. Still was able to save this floor. And uh, everything was kind of calculated. As I said, everybody makes mistakes. But you have to try to stay concentrated and everything is going to work out. As I said, my mistake was there in the beginning. Is because I was not able to kill that toxic spewer. And if you cannot kill that toxic spewer, he's going to cause you a lot of trouble. So your goal is to bring Dr. Dread as low health as possible. Deal with that toxic spewer. And then just keep rolling around and killing him with that grenade launcher. At least that's my strategy so i did get like those boots and plus one extra car battery i thought that we're gonna get three but again that's better than nothing let's place that over here let's place in here the boots so if you die i do think that this anti-red thingy helps you out a bit if you're gonna take it in advance because i said that already a lot of and a lot of times if you aren't gonna take this anti-red before you activate the terminal that anti-red isn't going to work i tested it out myself and that's what developers said so if you're gonna enter inside and as soon as you get radiation damage and you take this anti-red thingy it is not going to work. So you have to take it before activating the uh, terminal. It makes no sense, I know, but that's how it works, and I don't know why, but that's how it works. Okay, so this Bunker Bravo was definitely a bit more intense, but hey, let's go to the fourth floor. This is the most important floor, because over there, I'll be able to get double gas cylinder. We are gonna get one gas cylinder from this crate, and plus we're gonna get uh, one more gas cylinder from the fourth floor opening locks terminal. I believe that I'm still going to deactivate the toxic spitters there like those acid spitters or whatever. And we're going to activate that opening locks thing. So hopefully I took enough weapons. I have here a couple of scars. So let's just hope that this is going to be enough. I have some space in case if something doesn't work out. I'm just going to delete these beans and... Uh, yeah, let's hop inside. I have no idea why I'm bringing these anti-rad uh, ampules, but whatever. Let's go to the fourth floor. Hopefully, hopefully I will survive. I did not take here any grenades. Well, that's sad. And also, I just realized that if you want to do Bunker Bravo, and if you do not have your tactical backpack, most likely you're not going to be able to do it. Because as you can see, I do have a lot of stuff in my inventory, and that's barely enough. So, hey, let's... Uh, ventilation clearance, opening locks. Very nice. Let's take this. Juggernaut is just going to sleep like that, baby. Bada boom. Skitty poop, skitty pop. Let's go over there. Let's try to deal now with the slasher. Slasher, please do not slash me. Screamer is going to go to sleepity sleep. Very nice. Okay, acid melter. Uh, go to sleepity sleep. Those dudes are going to go to sleepity sleep as well. Okay, so got to eat that up. And uh, I mean, let's just continue. Let's just continue. Okay, I have to activate here my sprinting skill because it'll be better. Okay, fetid corpse. Let's take my AK right now. I don't want to save up still a couple of guns, but right now I don't want to mess up on the fourth floor as the fourth floor here is really important. Okay, let's take a scar because it will be pretty, pretty interesting as there is a lot of those dudes. Okay, now let's deal with the Strumper, please. No, 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 not that, not that. Okay, Strumper, bye-bye. Another Exploder is just going to explode. But I believe, as I said, I should not die from his explosion. And uh, let's deal with one Parasiter. And now there are going to be just more Parasiters underwater. Very nice that I have good eyes and I can see those Parasiters underwater. <laughs> let's go uh, further. Now let's deal with this Slasher with my Scar. Please tell me that'll be enough. Toxic to Darters. And uh, awesome. So far, pretty great. Pretty great. Let's take now my most likely VSS. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Let's definitely take a VSS. And uh, we will see. Okay, so this is going to be just Exploder. I definitely have to start saving up some guns because I still need to do Bunker Bravo three more times. And I don't want to run out of my stuff. So using all the weapons as VSS, SM16s and everything is going to let me do this. Okay, let's deal with the Toxic Darter now. Go to bye-bye. Let's activate this. And, uh, yeah, I have no idea where is... The oh, no, no, no. Did you see, like, uh, that uh, whatever room the patrol cancel just opened up and those dudes came out uh, of that room? I have no idea if you saw it on the minimap. Hopefully, I'll zoom in there so that you could see it properly. But, hey, that's what happened. They came out. So, yeah, now I'll have to take my scar probably for that. No, no, no. We got to take an AK now as well. I don't have AKs anymore. I'll have to use a scar. Dude, please go to slide. And now those dudes should come out of nowhere, right? Like those... I don't even know who that's going to be, but they came out of that room. Are they going to follow me or did they already follow me here? Or they will just attack me when I come closer? That's the question because I definitely saw that room opening up. Okay, now let's deal with another Screamer here. Okay, VSS is pretty awesome. Let's deal with our man Shrumper. Wait, did they already come? Yeah, oh, they... So they... Oh, no, they did not come yet. They are coming there right now. Let's take now another VSS. Okay, let's deal with the Strumper. Uh, like that, baby. Okay, let's deal now here with my Juggernaut. 
Okay, Juggernaut is gonna go to bye-bye with my Scar. Okay, this dude has his shield. We're gonna deal with this. Let's take another VSS. Okay, that gets teamy. I definitely have to save up one more VSS for the boss. Let's deal with the Exploder. Have to save up my Scars for the next three runs for Bonko Bravo, as I said. Dealing, dealing, dealing. Trying to focus here completely and not die. But, uh, yeah, okay, so let's... Oh, no, oh, no. Almost died. Good that I had some health. That's epic. Okay, now let's deal with this Toxic Exploder. Want to sleep, Toxic Daughter. Go to sleep, pretty sleep. Let's go around, around. Okay, so that's the room with that uh, with that stuff. Oh, no. The, the Riot Zombie. Are you kidding me? Okay, so I'll have to go back, obviously. Okay, Riot Zombie. Is he going to come over there? Is he going to put down his shield? Most likely not really. Please! I'm asking you very nicely. Riot Shielded Zombie, put your shield down. Okay, let's deal with him right now. Let's have full health just in case if that uh, turret is gonna shoot something nasty at me. Okay, so let's go over there. Let's loot now the terminal. Please tell me we're gonna get here one extra gas cylinder because <laughs> yes, that's what we've gotten, dude. Awesome. Uh, let's get some more stuff. Another scar. I don't know. Definitely too many scars use, used up today, but hey, we gotta do it. Okay, let's deal with the slasher. Now we're just gonna deal with this fetid corpse. It's okay, gotta pay attention to my health and everything is going to be all, all right. Let's go over there, another Screamer. Uh, just like that, Toxic Darter, dude. He can probably, I can even just literally wall trick Toxic Darter, but eh, whatever. <laughs> well, another Toxic Spewer, gotta deal with him just like that. Oh no, oh no, that's gonna be very sad. Okay, Toxic Spewer, go to sleepity sleep. Slasher, oh my god, how did I didn't pay attention? I just clicked heal. <laughs> so even though I died there, that's not a big deal. I have still some armor there, I have some stuff. I took three extra scars and a stack of bandages. We should be able to survive because like those Toxic Spewers do not crawl out of vents, so it's really great luck to use on the fourth and whatever other floor now. Let's go to the top and let's just get back inside of the fourth floor. Let's pick up my stuff. I'm definitely going to once again use that anti-rad ampule just in case I'm still, I can allow myself to use like at least one or two of those anti-rad things because we've gotten like what, three anti-rad pills from this entire floor. Okay, let's take the armor thing. I think we're gonna activate that, a backpack, taking the rest of the stuff here, a scar, a VSS stack of those. I'm still sorting it out. Shouldn't be doing it, most likely. I seriously shouldn't be sorting out my inventory here like this right now, but I know if I don't sort it out, that's gonna be a bit worse. Don't have to sort it out completely, though, but I just need to see my scars, and that's it. So, uh, let's activate that, and let's start going. So, yeah, I activated that uh, anti-rad ampule, so it should protect me from radiation at least a little bit. And again, the boss is pretty easy. Again, I say that it's pretty easy, but I might die there easily. So, who knows? So, very nice that I deactivated, as I said, that event clearance. Right now, none of these zombies are just crawling out, so if you die, it's just epic. Let's go through this side. Hopefully, these turrets aren't gonna shred me. Better gonna keep my health at full over here. Uh, gonna heal up. So far, uh, epic, 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 epic. Okay, so that's where I died, right? Awesome, awesome. So, I just did not pay attention. I died just before the boss. I seriously did not pay attention to what happened there. I I tried to heal. I, I clicked on that healing button. I saw that I have 20 health. I knew that I'm gonna die, but hey, that still did not, that was not enough. Okay, let's go over there. Let's activate that thing and let's start shooting him here with my scar. Baby, let's go just like that. Let's deal with that, with that. Let's start holding more buttons and that should be fine. We should be able to survive unless I'll start freezing because of like something different happens here. Okay, very nice throw. Uh, weapon broke. As you saw, that's epic that I took another scar. Otherwise, I mean, I would have died. Okay, so you see the room starts freezing and if I wouldn't have finished that cocoon thingy, I would have died. That's it. We finished the fourth floor. We've gotten two gas cylinders for the price of uh, one bunker Bravo run. So instead of like if 50 guns, I wasted here like only 25 guns. So hey, that opening locks terminal is definitely very, very valuable. And that will save me up like four bunker Bravo runs because I needed eight bunker Bravo runs, but I'll now I'll need only four. So that will allow me to assemble my ATV a bit faster. And uh, talking about recycling those batteries, I'm not really sure even if I suggest you recycling those batteries because assembling ATV is really something super hard. I'm literally just speed running that ATV. I want to get that ATV as fast as possible. I am doing all I can to get my guns. I'm doing all I can just to get my stuff for that ATV. And I believe that for not only even for an average player, but even for a hardcore player, it's going to be pretty 
hard. So I would just suggest you taking that ATV approach a bit slower and waiting what you're gonna get next season. Because as I said, the best thing, the best way to assemble your ATV is just by doing this Fort Mass event. And maybe next month, they're gonna add something like that as well. I just want to assemble my ATV as fast as possible so, I, so that I can give you this ATV content, but you don't have to really rush it that fast. Otherwise you can rush it, but as you see, it's gonna be pretty expensive. So inside, we're gonna get another gas cylinder and this brings tears to my eyes. That is so awesome. Seriously, two gas cylinders, but one run. That would take me like four days usually, but now only two days and way less guns. So seriously, there is a bright light at the end of the tunnel. ATV is waiting for me and it's closer than it's ever been. So I highly suggest you checking out this survival game where I found a secret bunker or click on the second card and you will see how I spend 10k caps. Or hop over to my channel, go to playlist and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to drop the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs>